The focus of this video is going to be to convert a number in binary notation back to base 10 notation. If you watched my previous video going from base 10 to binary, you learned that in binary notation we only use the digits, the numbers 0 and 1. And that string of numbers is representative of a position in the base 2 numbering system. What I have on the board behind me is a look at that uh, base two numbering system, and I'm gonna remind you of why these values are the case. I think I'm even gonna go back to base 10 for just a minute. Um, when I have the number uh, 2,365, remember that the five is in the ones position. We also, also often call it the units position. The six is in the tens position, and it means that we have six tens or a value of 60. That six represents a value of 60 um, and it means six times 10. The three is in the hundreds position. It represents the number three, um, 300 or three one hundreds, uh, again a value of 300. And the two is in the thousands position. Again, just a reminder at two one thousands. Um, each time you move to the left, um, you go from a base of 10 to a bigger exponent or increase um, a factor of 10. The next position is 100, which is 10 to the second power, the hundreds position. And the next position is the 10 to the third power, the 1000s position. Uh, the binary numbering system is like this, where base 10 um, only uses the digits 0 through 9, a binary numbering system uses the digits 0 and 1, and that's because beyond the, the units position, this is representative of 2 to the first power, this spot is 2 to the second power, which is 4, and 8 is 2 to the third power. Again, remember it was 10 to the first, 10 to the second, 10 to the third, 10 to the fourth. The number 16 is 2 to the fourth, etc. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to take these zeros and ones in a binary number and accumulate those to be a total in a base 10 value so we can see what it's equivalent to in the world that we understand. So the first number I want to use is uh, this one. Notice please that I'm writing uh, this binary number in um, groups of four. Can you see this blue line right here? For those of you who might have to learn to go to hexadecimal notation, it's very um, beneficial to keep a binary number in groups of four. And as a matter of fact, let me write this without these bars so you can see it. This number right here, 0001, right there, and then the next four digits, 0111. Again, a binary number. A student, a computer science student, will always keep the preceding zeros for this grouping of four um, when they move to hexadecimal, which is base 16. So, so they'll keep that. What I have, though, in um, this number is I have either none of the 128, none of the 64, none of the 32, or in binary, I have one of. I either have none or one. And so when I'm trying to turn this back into, I'm going to go ahead and remove this, turn this back into a base um, 10 number, I have a 16 in our world. Um, again, the base 10 world. I don't have any 8s, but I have a 4, and I'm going to add that to the 16 in a minute and get 20. I have a single 2, and then I have a 1 unit. And so I add these values together, and I get the number 23, it looks like. So again, the number 10111 in base 2 notation is the same thing as the number 23 in base 10. 23 as we say it, two tens, three ones. That's the total of all these ones and zeros. Let's do uh, a few more. So the next one that we'll do, um, again, um, in the first two um, quad quads, if you will, uh, 0, 0, 1, 1, and then 0, 1, 1, 1. All right, so I have no 28s to add up, no 64s. I have a 32 to add up. I have one 16. I don't have any 8s. 
I have a four, a two, and a one. And I add up all those numbers together and I get a total of 52. So again, that's it. To convert from binary back to base 10, I have to accumulate either the fact that I have one of them or I don't have any of them. And I take their place value. Again, remember when I have a number 5,376, I have five one thousands, five one thousands. I have three one hundreds. I have seven tens and I have just six ones to add together to get that 5,376. Let's go a little bit bigger. So let's go with um, one zero zero one zero one zero zero and again add up those one of what I have so I have a hundred and twenty eight no sixty fours no thirty twos but I have a sixteen and finally I just have a four one single four those two add up to be twenty add that to one twenty eight I have the number one hundred and forty eight let's go into the the next four positions so look um, please remember that the position value of binary notation, you just take the preceding value and multiply by two. So two times two is four, four times two is eight, eight times two is 16. Way up here, 128 times two is 256. This times two is 512. Remember, they are twos to a power though. Just remember that. The, the last number I wanna do, and then I wanna take this to octal, just so you can really see its strength. Um, the number that I'd like to do, one, zero, one, zero. One, 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 one. Zero, zero, one, zero. Remember, that's how we say it in binary notation. And if that was written, um, I'd have a subscript of two to, to tell the reader that that's a base two number. That's not something like, you know, some number of trillions. So I have A, 2,048, just one of them. I don't have any 1,024s. I have one, 512. I have A, 128, I have A, 64, I have A, 32, I have A, 16, and finally, I have two. And when you add all those up, I found that to be 2,802. You know, I can do this in any base. Um, octal is another commonly used base, a base of eight. And in the octal numbering system, we use the digits zero through seven. Again, base 10, 0 through 9, so anything below the 10. Base 8, 0 through 7. So if I gave you, and, and see where you could go with this, because then you could go into hex, which is base 16. If I gave you the number 2, 5, 6, 3, and I put a little subscript there and said that the base is 8, Again, notice I didn't. I don't have any digits here that are eight or larger because I can't in a base eight. It's got to be seven or less between zero and seven. This is still in any numbering system, in any base system. This is still the units position, but in a base eight system, this is the eight to the first power spot, and this is the eight to the second power spot, and this is the eight to the third power spot. And so um, I have two of these eight to the thirds. So now it's not just one of or none of, it's two of those. And then five of the eight to the seconds power and six of the eight to the first power and then finally three units. I'm gonna take my calculator really quickly and do these calculations. So two times eight to the third is, that position represents 1,024. Here, eight squared is just the number 64. So I have five times 64 is 320. Now these are going back to our world, the base 10 world. Six times uh, eight is 48. I'm gonna add three to that. And so I have a total of 1,395 in the base 10 world is the same thing as 2563 in octal notation. You might be able to 
go into any base. Um, again, base 16 is the most commonly used after this, but you could do base 7, base 11, etc.